Well, on this press freedom index, it keeps getting reactions indeed. And this time around, government has responded. Government has responded indeed. So this is from the Information Ministry. They've indicated that it's resolved to work with the National Media Commission and other media stakeholders to improve current levels of safety for journalists in the country. In a statement saying, Ghana's democracy is a work in progress. Government laid out other actions which executed will form part of steps towards improving Ghana's press freedom rankings. But it was cautioned that a change in methodology means the report which ranked Ghana 60th on the World Press Freedom Index 2022 should not be compared with previous scores. But that's what has got a lot of reactions indeed. Uh, many who are saying that this is the same ranking, Porsche, yeah, that, that ranked us number one on the continent in, in 2018. And so now that we're 60th, many are then raising questions as to why we should be questioning the methodology now. Okay, but this is just portions and pointers of the statement issued. First of all, government welcomes the document as a baseline reference point for other reforms that it intends to put in place. Actions of non-state actors may have fed into the assessment of Ghana. And that's why you recall yesterday the Deputy Information Minister was saying, for instance, that policemen who attack journalists are not necessarily acting on the behalf of government or at the behalf of government for that matter. Mentions unregulated online media spaces as having impacted report. Also, opinion, media, propaganda, and media ownership by politicians impacted the report. The part of the report also talked about media ownership. That's also there quite clearly. Two of the five parameters influence Ghana's economic and safety of journalists. This is the government's response. What is the way forward? According to this statement, they say they're going to collaborate with the National Media Commission to deepen the execution of the coordinated mechanisms on the safety of journalists to collaborate with stakeholders, including civil society organizations, to educate both state and non-state actors on the safety of journalists, collaborate with stakeholders to fight against disinformation and fake news, and also collaborate with stakeholders to improve the economic conditions of, of journalists in the country. So these are some of the issues. Apart from that, they identify what's missing in there. They say that there is no direct response to political leaders making death threats against journalists, which is of serious and paramount issue as well. Uh, no response to nearly all attacks on journalists by law enforcement officers not being pursued. And finally, no mention of countries that also did better with the new methodology. These are the derivations, as a matter of fact, that government puts to this report. Questions have been raised, Portia, mm -hmm. about what exactly should be the way forward, especially with updates from the likes of the investigations mm -hmm. into the murder of Ahmed Swale. What's the latest to that? What is the way forward in protecting journalists? We'll see what happens. We have with that. one whole year to implement the way forward, as Indeed. indicated in the press release. We'll see how it goes in next year's run, Ken.